country like that. I've been really looking forward to filming this video for the last couple of weeks. Welcome back to another Vlogmas and today's the day we wrap all our Christmas presents. If you're new around here, I feel like I've been saying that a lot in the vlogs recently, but if you're new around here, it's become an annual tradition that every Vlogmas I show you everything that we've bought Delilah. I've also got things to, I've also got Doug's presents to show you and our secret Santa. Well, my secret Santa, we always do secret Santa with his side of the family. I don't know if his sister's going to be watching this, but Melissa, if you are watching this, maybe skip this video so there aren't any spoilers. So I show you everything and then we wrap it. And um, I know lots of you like to stick this on in the background when you wrap your presents too. And it's just a really lovely, it's just a really nice video that I love filming every year. Got all these bits down here and I've put all the wrapping bits down already. Let's start with Delilah. I'm dropping things. That was probably the, the one thing that needed to not be dropped. This is a joint present. This is a family joint present for the three of us. We have bought a Nintendo Switch. A couple of years back, Doug bought me a, um, a, a Switch light, and he did say to me, are you sure we don't want to spend a little bit more money and get the, um, the, the main one? Just the switch rather than the light because then we can all use it and we can put it on the tv but i was being really impatient and i wanted to play animal crossing and um these were all out of stock so i ended up getting the light and as much as i love the light and we'll still use it i'll keep it for delilah to use we just thought this would be such a fun thing for all of us to have we can get involved together we can play um so we've got super mario we bought a few games we've got the we've got super mario and i feel like that's just something we could all play together and just be something really nice to play over the winter and well all year round but it's just like a nice thing for us to all play together and um, i bought some extra controls because the uh because obviously this only comes with two so we needed at least one more for three of us to play together and i got the purple and the purple and green set i bought myself just dance honestly the amount of self-control it's taken to not open this and play this secretly i've been desperate to play this i cannot wait <laughs> to open this um, but yeah no we got the one with the wii sports because you know wii sports gosh who remembers wii sports we got the sports one because it worked out the exact same price as the console on its own. Doug's also bought himself some football games. <laughs> and oh, and the other game we I found was a bluey game. I think Delilah's going to be so chuffed with this. Big bluey fans in this household. Like every other parent, I feel like a kid at Christmas. I am so excited to play these. Forgot to say, but everything I show and everything I mention, be it wrapping stuff, be it presents, I will do my best to link everything in the description. I will say it once now, and I won't say it again because I know it probably gets annoying me repeatedly saying that. I can't wait to get everything out of these boxes. I've spent the last few months squirreling away. I've been hiding things in the office, in cupboards, in the wardrobe, underneath boxes and towels. The one thing I bought yesterday, so I bought Delilah some bits from Lush, as I do every birthday and Christmas. My memory is awful. Bought this stuff yesterday and I hid it for less than 24 hours and I spent about 20 minutes earlier trying to remember where I, where I had put this stuff <laughs> and I remembered I'd stuffed it in with one of Doug's presents. This smells so good. So we have a snow fairy fun. She loves playing with this. It's like played over your bath. You can wash with it. You can wash your hair, your body, make bubbles with it. So you can use it like a bubble bar. And you can also use it like Play-Doh. There's a reindeer bubble bar, which I thought she would love. And then we also have a penguin bath bomb. This seems like a bit of a boring present, but trust me, I think she's going to love these. For a really long time, she has been wanting her own knife and I've been I think I saw this brand of knife a while ago and realized that it was only suitable for seven plus mind you I took this knife out to test it and we do need to sharpen our knives 
but this is sharper, way sharper than our knife. So there's a reason why it's suitable for seven, eight years plus. It's not like, you know, you can get those plastic knives for much younger children. This is a proper knife. You see the hole there, they put their finger in it and it's just meant to make it easier for them to hold. But it also came with a peeler. She loves to help us cook in the kitchen and we'll still supervise her using these, but um, I just thought it would give her a bit more independence and I think she'll genuinely be really happy with those. And then we bought her this, which I wasn't expecting to be so huge. I did think it was going to be half the size, but I found this on Amazon. Didn't realize it was written by a winner of the Great British Bake Off. It's illustrated beautifully. I think it's good that it's big because it means that she, they can really see what they're looking at and read it properly. I mean, there are so many recipes in here. She was given a cookbook when we went to a brand event um, back in October. Before we even got home, whilst we were on the train, she was reading it and telling us exactly what she wanted to make. She loves cooking. I feel like most kids do. I feel like it, it's a way of them feeling independent and they just want to kind of do what mummy and daddy do. And yeah, I can see her wanting to cook us a new recipe every day of the holidays. Right. I think it's time for some mouse house stuff. I know lots of you are just as invested in her uh, mouse house collection as I am. So of course, I had to get her some more bits this year. They have a winter collection. I refrained from buying the actual mice because she has so many mice. And although their outfits were a bit cuter, I just thought she doesn't need any more mice. So I just bought these individual clothes. I've got a knitted jumper. And we also have Another knitted jumper with a pair of trousers. Some skis, and although she has a million mice, it feels like I've only, I only bought two sets, and I bought a large set and a smaller set. This one's big sister and big brother mouse, and this is mum and dad mouse. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. Right, I feel like I need to go grab a mouse to demonstrate. It has to be done. I'll be right back. Right. Please excuse uh, daddy mouse, he hasn't. He hasn't got a t-shirt on underneath his dungarees. <laughs> Sorry, I ran out of battery. I had to run upstairs and change it. Just when I thought her mouse house stuff couldn't get any cuter. And here we have a sledge, which, mm, is that the right size? I think that's the right size. Yeah, it has to be. You have to be a bit careful with this stuff because I've realized, um, so yeah, cute sledge. They can all sit on it like that. I've realised that there's a couple of items in her doll's house that are actually the wrong size. Her bath, which is why I've bought a smaller one to replace it. I did say to her that I've, I've realised I've bought the wrong size washing machine, ironing board, bath, fridge. They have accessories for bigger teddies and I didn't realise. I just thought maybe that the washing machine was abnormally big proportion wise to the house because maybe it's easier for them to play with but no so her bath the bath foot that she currently has is about this big this is the right size bath we'll slowly replace them if she really wants to this is the correct size bath for her mouse house compared to this one which is way too big i did question why it was so big um so this is obviously for a different size of mouse and now it makes so much more sense because that looks much more proportionate <laughs> and again the washing machine is uh, way way bigger compared to the other stuff so yeah uh, it's all making sense now oh look she's decorated for christmas and of course they need somewhere to put their clothes i found a wooden closet oh it's so sweet it opens up and i think oh yes have some little hangers in there to hang their clothes. Let's pop Daddy Mouse back before she suspects that I've been playing with her mouse house. Delilah has a Yoto. My mum bought her a Yoto, a Yoto player, which is like a little radio. I say this every time, but it's the one, it's the one thing that I is up there on recommending something to get for either your child or someone else's child. It's so good. I know um, like it has a daily it has a daily radio, they do birthday shout outs, and then you can also get cards and it, it's very easy for them to use. So she has a whole, she has a whole book of cards and you just have to slot it in the top so they can just take it in and out, slot it in, it starts playing, so take it out, it stops playing. And the controls are really easy to use. It's really good for all ages, love her Yoto. I thought she could do with a 
sleeve so that she can one carry it around the house with the handle and two it protects it annoying me she has a scratch down the front i don't know how it happened it happened ages ago before we could get a protector for the front of it i much prefer the newer colors but they don't have those available in the older generation yoto size so i just got her the lilac because i think she would like that and then i've got her a couple of new cards to go in her yoto she has quite a few cards from this author and so i thought i'd get her the winter stories which has about five and a half hours worth of stories and also the christmas treats and again this is the kind of stuff that we get her a little some more of every christmas every birthday just a really really good one what else she's ended up with a couple of lego things oh this is heavy i didn't realize doug had bought her this um he said he bought it on amazon along with one of my presents because they were on offer I've actually asked for Lego for my birthday or birthday Christmas because I, I love Lego and whenever Delilah, I don't have any Lego myself and whenever Delilah gets Lego, I, I really enjoy putting it together with her but I have to remember it's her Lego set so I have to step back and just watch her do it. There's just something about Lego that I find so, I even, I prefer it to puzzles because it's so, it's so methodic and you just, like don't ask me to make something out of random pieces of lego that stresses me out i don't enjoy it but give me the instructions and the pieces i find it so relaxing and i just love i love doing lego so i did i did say to doug that i would really like some lego this birthday christmas so we ended up getting this on offer along with mine i don't know what one i have yet but um, we will see i am so excited to give this to her because i think she is going to love this she is a huge gabby's house fan and this is a gabby's house lego set it has a let me show you coming closer it's essentially ends up being a kind of mini doll's house gabby's house doll's house so i think i like to think that she'll make this and then keep this in her room to play with move and lift and yeah i just think like it's got all the different rooms that they have on Gabby's house. It's on um, Disney Plus, if you want to check it out. And to us, I love watching Gabby's house as well. It's great. I know this is Mercat. And then Kitty, oh, why can't I remember this one? This is one of her favorite characters. It comes with it's got lots of little accessories. And yeah, I just think she is going to be so excited about this. I'm gonna come down here because I'm battling, I'm battling with the light. I have Delilah's present here to Doug. I thought she could wrap this when she got home from school. It's her last day of school today. Um, I hope these are the right size for Doug. We bought him a pair of Christmas sausage dog pattern pajamas from M&S a year or two back. That's the only pair that he has, and so he just well, he wanted another pair. And I found these in fat face. They were medium. I, I spent ages in there looking at the small and the mediums, thinking I don't know what size he needs. Like looking at these now, they feel really big. They've got quite a tight waistband, so I'm fingers crossed. This bag smells so good. I'd hidden the lush stuff for Delilah in the bottom of this bag. That's why I couldn't find them. Shall I show you what I got, Doug? So I was a little bit, he is the hardest person to buy for. I guess because it's also my birthday this time of year, it always feels like he's buying me loads. So it always makes me feel like I need to get him more. But that's silly because it obviously he's getting me birthday and Christmas and I still get him birthday presents in May when it's his birthday. First thing I bought him was, and I had to hide this, I had to wrap this in a towel and hide it in our bedroom because he would know what it was instantly because of the box. I got this because I was trying to find him a glass from this company. So he has a Candom Town pint glass and it's just like a standard size pint glass. But a while ago, I remember saying, oh, I really like the, um, I really like the shape and size of these glasses when we were out. And he said, yeah, they're cool, aren't they? And he's been wanting to get his hands on one, but he hasn't been able to. I found this on their website. It's still a pint glass, but it's just, like half the size well it's obviously it's it's wider but it's shorter so i found this and then i just decided to get him because i don't think the individual glass was available so i just got him like the gift like the gift box i'm going to keep everything in here and then just wrap the box so it also comes with some of our favorite tony's chocolate and then it comes with it was i feel like it was quite good value for money it comes with lots of beers we've got some ipas and i think these are all pretty much beers i know he likes the lager yeah we've got lagers ipas pale ales all stuff that i know he likes and there's there's two layers so there are 12 beers lagers ipas some chocolate 
and a nice beer glass. I think he's gonna really like that, but I thought I can't, that can't be his only present. I felt like I needed to get him something else. How am I running out of battery already? <laughs> I've gone through two batteries already. There's a, now for anyone who loves vinyls, loves their music, I really recommend checking out Blood Records. I'm certain it's Blood, Blood Records. Discovered them on Instagram. They do really funky designs on the vinyls. Recently they released an Elton John Christmas one. The Elton John one had like a very Christmassy one. Some of them are very, some of them just have like a watercolour effect, like a marble effect, which we already have a couple of limited edition ones like that. Some of them are very unique, like this one, which I spent an arm and a leg getting because I could only find it on eBay. Lots of you will know we are huge Paolo fans and they did a drop of 2000, I think, yeah, it's kind of like, it's a paisley print one. It's meant to kind of look like it's moving when it's going round on the record. I gave it a go on ours and it was a little underwhelming, but I think he's going to love this. Let me give you, let me give you a close up. Although I need to figure out what to do with this because you're not meant to keep them in plastic sleeves and it's only come in a plastic sleeve. But this is his most recent album. Can you see the pattern on that? You can even see here that this was, is copy 1,961 out of 2,000. I think I'm going to get brownie points for this. I think, I really hope he loves this. I hope it's a surprise because I don't think he would be expecting this. I need to think of a good way to wrap it. I want to wrap it in a way that doesn't make it seem like a vinyl. I know he won't guess that it's this Paolo one, but I, I want him to be completely off the mark. I don't want him to think it's a vinyl at all. So I need to like find a way to wrap it that doesn't, make it feel like a vinyl. So those are Doug's presents. I'm really pleased with them. And then, oh, and then I have my Secret Santa. So, where is it? Where is the Secret Santa stuff? <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> I have Doug's sister for Secret Santa. Stop watching now, Melissa, if you are watching this. <laughs> I'll say it one more time. I do feel like I want to get her just one other thing. Okay, so we have some news and I double checked that I could share this and she said it was fine. She's having a baby. We are so excited. This is the closest I'll ever get to being an auntie and having a niece or nephew. I cannot tell you how excited Delilah is. For years, she's been saying, when Ben and Melissa have a baby, the amount of times we'll be in the shops and we'll walk past baby stuff and Delilah will go, oh, I can't wait for Ben and Melissa to have a baby so we can get them cute baby stuff. The reason I share this is because they're quite baby related these gifts. The first one, I won't show you the front of it. She has a gift certificate for a local place, like a really nice um, like therapy room where she can get a massage. And I've done it for the value of a pregnancy or postnatal massage, or she could use it for something else. But in here, I couldn't help myself. They are based in Bath, independent company, make the most gorgeous sleepwear. I think they started in 2016, the year Delilah was born, but I didn't discover them until about 2000 and, I think, 19 time. So I never got the chance to get Delilah a baby grow from there. But now's my chance. And I was trying to find, so they're not going to find out the sex of the baby until they're born. So I wanted to try and find something that was really just like a good gender neutral, even though, I mean, technically everything is gender neutral because, you know, you can wear what you want. So I did to get this chocolate brown and cream stripe sleep suit. It's in, oh, it's got the little cuffs as well, the little mittens. It's age zero to three months. I can't believe how tiny it is. Oh, and there's gonna be a little, I always loved how, like the, the bottom of their sleep suits are always so chunky and wide because obviously they're gonna, they're in nappies. I really, really hope that they love this. I wouldn't have bought any anything for the baby had they not had already had not, had they not already bought a onesie for the baby um, a little while back. Because I know that some people don't want to buy anything for the baby until closer to them being born. But I'm, I did talk to Doug about it and said, "Do you think they'll mind? Because they have already bought stuff for the baby. Like I don't want to step on anyone's toes." Um, we both agreed because they were already buying stuff for the baby and clothes, that this would be fine. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. So cute, I can't wait to give this to her. That is everything. So that's everything I've bought Doug, Melissa, Delilah. I think it's about time we get wrapping. Always feel a little bit overwhelmed to begin with. Where do I start? 
I'm hoping I have enough tape. I didn't think about that. Do you think I have enough ribbon? This is just some of my velvet ribbons. Got a couple of ribbons from Malik, this like metallic, got a slightly champagne-y one and then a slightly more coppery one. Whoopsie. The brands that do the mouse bits also have lovely wrapping paper. We are, uh, where's the, oh yes. They do these gift bags, they got wrapping paper, they have stuff for the home. We've also got these Merry Merry stickers. I haven't bought any silky ribbons down or anything like that, I've just bought the velvet ones down. Because it just gets a bit overwhelming. What happens is a lot of this stuff I use for Duck and Delilah, so then I just end up keeping it and reusing it and then we just end up with so much ribbon. I've got a little bit of this tinsely stuff left over and then we do have, oh more velvet, we do have this gingham ribbon there. I bought these bells on Etsy and I thought this would be sweet to add to some of the presents. Maybe not this one because it's ginormous. Oh my goodness, I'm so clumsy today. I thought a couple of these small ones would be sweet on presents. And we've got Christmas cards because I'm going to use one of these to put Melissa's gift voucher in. Might use one of these bags for the Lush stuff or maybe, yeah, I think maybe the bags. So that's just an easy one. Although Delilah will see this and go, oh, this has mouse stuff, mouse house stuff in, and then she'll be surprised when it doesn't. But then I'm sure she'll be able to smell this and know exactly what it is a week before opening it. Oh gosh, I'm just, oh god, I'm just obsessed with this, guys. Like I kind of wait for squishy baby cuddles in this baby grow or any other gorgeous little baby grow. They put, put them in. Delilah's going to be the best cousin because she doesn't have any. I didn't, I didn't have any cousin growing up because my mum's an only child. I'm an only child. Said, so am I going to have a proper real cousin? Because she does have. She technically has cousins because my mum's cousin, who is my cousin, because my grandma had sisters, one of her sisters had children, so my mum has cousins, and then they're my second cousins, so then technically Delilah has cousins, but they're cousins once removed or something like that, I don't really understand, do I? so technically, but there aren't other children in the family, like Ben has nieces and nephews, on his side so she gets on really well with them but doesn't see them a huge amount honestly Delilah was so excited and although she's going to be quite a bit older than them I think she's going to, be going to be the best cousin and I think she's going to love them to pieces I mean you know what she's like I can't wait I feel like I'm going to bore my eyes out the first time I meet them I just can't wait I can't wait to see Delilah with little Bubba I think she's going to be the best cousin anyway I could be all mushy and talk about it all day because I'm just so excited, so excited. Because I've never had any kids in my family <laughs> that I like, I didn't grow up with kids around me or babies and cousins and things. So it's, yeah, it's exciting for Delilah, it's exciting for me. Ward is very excited, Doug is going to be an uncle and yeah, this is all very exciting. Oh, also, I am so much happier with our tree now. You probably can't tell and you're probably thinking, Rhiannon, stop going on about the tree. Finally had a bit of a rejig <laughs> and I know I, I've said that a million times all the ornaments were sort of in lines it just looked really weird it was really empty in the middle here I realized my favorite one here is slightly broken at the top yeah I've moved move that one there to try and even it out I kind of put some ornaments kind of tucked away here and smaller ones like this one in here and some like under here to stop it looking so linear I've also added some bows not too many but just some bows on the tree and moved some of the ornaments round here and put some of the new ones up we've got a new afro art one here and another one here anyway i will stop harping on about the tree now um, but i'm much happier with it let's get all this wrapped i cannot wait to have everything under the tree we'll have about nine days but it's about nine days before christmas i think we'll have about nine days of being able to enjoy them under the tree we have our decoy we use this box to put Doug's vinyl in and he shouldn't suspect a thing. This is the world's worst wrapping. This box is so big, but I could probably reuse this because I'm, <laughs> I'm literally just sticking the sides down.
this happens every year i end up feeling like i'm running out of time which i've just realized i haven't finished painting the inside of the fireplace there's patches of pink paint and then white paint that i need to paint i'm having a quick break i needed a refuel i was getting peckish so i'm having a snack and i've got about half an hour to wrap everything else i love this blue ribbon i got this i got a couple of new ribbons on amazon and one of them being this blue ribbon and a couple of little bells these are all the switch games i just decided to group them together with a cream velvet ribbon and then we have a couple of presents over here i thought the pink ribbon went nicely with this like bluey purpley colored paper we've got doug's vinyl in here everything else is getting buried underneath a mountain of ribbons because right so what we've got left we've got this left to do oh i need to wrap this up some thicker ribbons here I still haven't used these ones either. And I need to wrap these ones too. And the Lego. Let's get this big one wrapped and out of the way. My eyes go squiffy. It's not making your eyes go squiffy on camera. <laughs> Melissa's present here. Love this paper. This is Oliver Bonus. Everything's looking very, there's a lot of pattern and a lot of colour happening this year. I'm trying to figure out which ribbon to use. I mean, this green one is a lovely contrast. Or we could go, could go deep red, well, deep burgundy. And then it's sort of lovely. Oh, I do like that. It's sort of lovely, kind of pink and red. Well, this is the last one of Delilah's. I need to get this wrapped before I need to get her. Last present. <laughs> Let's try and get this one done. Double sheet it again because these are just us. You can actually just reuse them because they're not going to really get ripped. I 
think this is some of the worst wrapping I have ever done. I am so sorry, Doug. home for the holidays. It was Christmas jumper day today, wasn't it? So you got your... <laughs> I never took my jumper off. No. So you got your fa -la, -la, la la cardigan on. These that we got you last year perfectly go with your cardigan, don't they? Yeah. Presents are all wrapped. I just need to get them under the tree. Round the back here, so it's getting quite dark now, um, are Doug's presents. And you can see I've done a, a big old bow to try and disguise the awful wrapping job everything is wrapped appallingly to be honest just as usual i ended up being in such a rush yeah we've got dogs around there let's get some of these other ones in where shall i put these ones these big ones that could work let's work it works i'm gonna pick up the wrapping paper delilah just has her present wrap for duck mind the camera there gorgeous okay ribbon and these. Nice, okay. You can do that. Let's pop this one around here. What paper have you picked then, Sausage? I've picked this wrapping paper. Nice, I think Daddy will like that. And these stickers mm -hmm. and this ribbon. Lovely. Hold it for me. So wrap it like that. Just once and then over. There we go. Quite a bit. Yeah, to hold it down. But we've got ribbon, so that will help. Okay. And then a bow. <laughs> Not a bow. Not a bow. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I think I'm going to do two on there. Lovely. Last present. There we have it. Another year of Christmas presents yeah. wrapped. Somebody's missing all her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I get, I look like a goblin. <laughs> I would usually carry on this vlog for the rest of the day, but I'm filming the next Vlogmas either side of this video. So I'm going to love you and leave you um, because I'm going to carry on vlogging for the next vlog. I love that so many of you save this video for when you wrap your Christmas presents. And I always love, I always love to see you wrap in your presents, you either tag me on Instagram stories or send me a DM and show me your wrapping or show me you wrapping along to this video. It's always feels like a really lovely like, community thing that we do together. It feels lovely to have some presents under the tree now. It just feels complete. It always feels very, it always feels a bit naked after Christmas day. Yeah, if you enjoyed the vlog, um, please give it a thumbs up. I know I'm really bad at forgetting to do stuff like that with people I like watching. I don't, I don't know if I ever thumbs up YouTube videos, which I know is really bad of me. I like and save lots of Instagram posts, but I'm really bad at interacting with YouTube videos. I'll leave a comment every now and again, but I, know, I don't think I ever like videos, um, which I should do, because I know how much it helps creators. So I should do this, I should do the same. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I will see you very soon for the next Vlogmas. Bye.